Phrase El Nino has become very popular again after forecasters with NOAA declared its arrival in the Pacific Ocean. Some people are now asking if California is in for another wet winter. Meteorologist Heather Waldman joining us now with the details on that. Heather, can that kind of prediction be made this far out? Well, the short answer is no, especially in Northern California. There are some connections between the El Nino cycle and the coming winter season, but there's also a lot of uncertainty. Forecasters with NOAA's Climate Prediction Center determined the start of El Nino last week by answering three main questions. The first is water along the equator in the eastern Pacific warmer than average. Second, is it likely to stay warmer for a long period of time? And finally, are there clear changes to storm patterns in the tropics? Last week, the answer was yes for all three of those questions, meaning that El Nino is here. And you can see the difference in water temperatures here on these two maps. This is January of 2023. This is June of 2023. And forecasters pay specific attention to this box here, and they believe that water in that zone will continue warming through summer and into the fall. As of today, there's a 56% chance for a strong El Nino this winter, but there is a higher chance, 84% for a more moderate El Nino pattern. Forecasters with Sacramento's National Weather Service office say that given this outlook, it's still very uncertain what that means for the coming winter here. You really don't know in Southern Cal Northern California, even like last year, this past winter we came in, we were in a neutral El Nino situation and we ended up with historical snowfall. It all it takes is, uh, even if you're in a drier pattern, it just takes two or three, maybe four strong uh, atmospheric river patterns and you can suddenly have, you know, a wetter than normal thing. Ross did provide some data on win what winter was like for Northern California in past El Nino patterns. This data goes back to 1950. In the last five moderate El Nino patterns, we had three seasons finished with below average precipitation. None of them had above average precipitation, but the odds do change when you bring in a strong El Nino. In the last seven strong cases, two had below average precipitation and two were near average, while three had above average precipitation. But even with that, remember that we're still months away from the start of our next rainy season and El Nino is just starting to emerge. Forecasters won't know exactly how strong the pattern is until we get to the fall. And even then, there are many other factors that play into winter here in Northern California.